You hear that? I suppose he might have completely changed, but in my experience, eh. Did you want to come with us? Oh, I might drop in, but the wetlands are moist. And the Grim are everywhere. Hostile, slimy, foul-smelling creatures. But good luck! Thanks. Wait, what? I said good luck! Whoa, do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything, everything. It's warm. We can probably use this boat, if I can just get it free. Careful, lad. Ah! Why are these things so bad? Find you, watch out! already off to a lively start. Petraeus, you dropped your guard. I got the boat free, though. I still can't believe Mom led a whole rebellion here against Odin and never talked about it. The fact that it didn't go well might have covered that notion. What your mother did before we met was her business. Did you ever ask? Eyes on the water. There are resources. If you never asked Mom about what she used to do, what did you talk about when you met? Like, did you just say, Woman, guard the house. I will go to catch fish in the river. And then leave for five days? No. Your mother was far better at fishing than I. Uh, did you see that over there? Channel. I imagine if you can turn it, we should be able to get through. So these are wetlands, huh? Pretty accurate. It is a bog. The smell is making my eyes burn. You know what? It's a fair bit more potent than when I last visited, now that you mention it. Go! 
to be an artifact from the Dwarven Resistance. Raid Mars Brasser, father of a few dwarves you may be well familiar with. Rock may be interested in getting these back. Better in his hands than out in the open. Think that's dirty enough to climb? Aye, good old dwarven craftsmanship. He was a friend to the Giants. I wonder if he and Mom ever met. If he was a part of the Rebellion here. It's certainly possible. The God of War often advocated for the Giants. Although I don't recall if he ever declared allegiance outright. Okay, there's got to be some way to turn the wheel up here. Well there! Give a man some warning if he's about to suddenly end up snout deep in cheek. The ground. Was that an earthquake? Hmm. An occasional but not unheard of happenstance in Spartalfheim. With all the mining here, the land's bound to be a wee bit bothered. Think you can reach the wheel from here? Oh wow, nice job getting it to lower exactly where we need it. I was thinking, because it's so warm, maybe it's not that the cold hasn't made it here yet, but maybe it's just different in Sparto Farm? Aye lad, Thimble Winter doesn't strike all realms quite the same way. Weird that Thimble Winter doesn't always make it winter. In Midgard it does, but as you can see, the effects here appear far more gaseous in nature. Observe the geysers. Observe the aforementioned aroma. These effects were present before in some form, but now there's new extremity to them. Think we can fit under that bridge?
Find anything good up there? Behind! 
that wheel moving, but the water doesn't reach. Rose, one of those guys. Is there another one somewhere? <laughs> hey, did that guys up there just get stronger? When you froze the guys, the pressure must have changed for the ones around it. Maybe there's a vantage point. We can get a better look. That's more of an ingenuity for you. Back to the boat. If the dwarves of this realm are anything like Rock and Sindri, it's hard to imagine them siding with Odin. Well, all too often people are blinded to all but their immediate self-interest. Odin offered them safety, and defying him can be quite dangerous. Maybe they just need a couple of gods to come along and take the fight to him. Atreus, that is not why we are here. I was only joking. War is not a joke, especially where gods are concerned.
Yikes. This place is wrecked. And yes, I am staying alert. There are probably tons of those Grimmer on. Good thing you learned the runes, brother.
I think that's everything here. Want to get going? as an ally for war. I just... I'm trying to keep our options open. Let's just keep moving. I'm glad we're out here, exploring a new realm. Maybe we could just try to enjoy the warmth? Looks like we gotta find a way to open that gate if we want to get to neither of them. fast. Then how shall we catch it? Flank it. Attack from behind. Good. Go! Gotta get behind it. But how? Father, there. to be another chain to lower the rest of the gate. You can uncover that geyser from here. Oh, I 
think I get it. If you freeze the geyser, the pressure will turn the wheel. One of Cavassia's poems. Very highbrow. You should collect any others you find. <laughs> Lad, if I may, what exactly are you hoping to learn from Tia? Well, like I said, I was hoping he could tell me something about Loki. I'd also like to hear some of his stories. Traveling to other lands, giant stuff, and maybe about what it was like to fight back in the day. Just for the history, obviously. History? Hmm. Let's hope Tyr's in a talkative mood after being imprisoned for so long. Not all of Odin's captives can be as charmingly voluble as myself. We have no proof Tyr is truly here. Right. <laughs> that earthquake earlier. Do you think there will be another one? It's unlikely, but geological disturbances tend to be unpredictable. If the geysers and smell here are worse because of Fimble Winter, Maybe the earthquakes are too? Aye. You might be onto something, lad. Atreus, look ahead. Wow. 
Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavibia, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. We talk we to you don't for want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Really are incredible. The detail in the woodwork is quite extraordinary. A statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Kendry, hello. <laughs> I've returned your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. <laughs> I knew he'd left something behind. You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oh, you're a long overdue for a replacement. Taking advantage of certain material. Ow. Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for uh, finally trying it. What's it gonna be this time? Patience. I find it's best to see these things oh, in action. Uh. There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say, Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ski Alpha. Ah! Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of a leer. How was I supposed to know they were there? Right side! Okay, so, Sterling. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. <sighs> Ugh. 
Another of Cavassia's poems. Considered a threat. Sounds like an organism if I ever had one. Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. There are any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Is this a make example of? The rest in life. Doc preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest people. Fear keeps them safe and alive. <laughs> This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin. But he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down.
A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to... ...couple means of resistance. Find you, watch out! <laughs> Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. Huh. Really, your Sindri made it sound like Durlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following you. Was being the key word here, little brother. I saw a dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Durlin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way.
Ah, oh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, are you really the one who had those rigs built? Odin wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. <laughs> 